there are things outside us that wear down the chromosomes faster. Some of them are related to making our bodies more stressed and more diseased, like having in exposure to um, bad environments such as pollution, but also a great many socio-economic factors that um, are um, things that can be improved by sustainable practices. A link between the health of our chromosomes and our direct environment? This might seem surprising. However, this is what biologist Elizabeth Blackburn has demonstrated, and it is for this discovery that she received the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 2009. Look at this pair of shoelaces. Now, normally in a shoelace that's working well, it has very good tips, which we call aglets, and the shoelace tips protect the ends of the uh, shoelace. Now, imagine the shoelace is actually a chromosome carrying all the genes along its length and the ends of the chromosome are protected. But if the shoelace tip uh, comes off, then the shoelace will become prone to fray. Now this chromosome is in great danger. And it is at the end of the chromosome, an area called the telomere, that one of the most important keys to our health is found. Without the protection of special structures and special DNA sequences at the ends of chromosomes, the ends fray away, they, they wear down and you lose DNA from the ends of chromosomes, the ends become very sticky and they start sticking to other DNA molecules and that makes the genetic material very unstable, can lead to cancer. Thanks to the research of Elizabeth Blackburn and her team, we have proof that our health depends directly on the quality of our environment whether it is food, air pollution, or even stress. And indeed, this is a crucial discovery for the future of humanity. Many of the sustainable development goals are linked to optimization problem. A number of sustainable development goals call for better resource allocation. For example, I can give you about communication system, how to maximize the energy efficiency and minimize the battery waste. So this is optimization problem. Yak Xiang Wan is a professor of mathematics, honorary member of the London Academy of Mathematics and the Beijing Academy of Sciences. His work is purely theoretical and mainly consists in finding optimization methods. So the research of mine are purely theoretical but the application of my research or optimization theory have a great impact to practice. And the scientists in the other field, they have problem. They need to use our method to solve their problem. And this problem, once solved, which can achieve the sustainable development goal. So that's the link. From theoretical research to practice, there is the link. And there are many, many examples of optimization needs in everyday life, whether it's telephone communications, farmland yields, or even healthcare. For example, how to design drug, control the disease, and also the vaccine distribution, how to make it efficiently. For Professor Yuan, mathematics has a crucial role to play in the future. I think in that view, mathematics can play an important role in promote international collaboration and to build a peaceful, globalized world.